हेलो एवरी वन मैं सिर्फ डॉक्टर शुभम करे जूनियर रेसिडेंट एट सर जे जे हॉस्पिटल मुंबई आई एम बिफोर यू प्रेजेंटिंग अ केस स्टडी अंडर द टाइटल ऑफ एम आर असेसमेंट ऑफ इंटरनल डी अरेंजमेंट ऑफ टेम्पोर मेडिकुलर जॉइन डन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ डॉक्टर मयूर बुरेवर एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट सर जे जे ग्रुप ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स मुंबई लेट्स गो विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द टी एम जी जॉइंट इज अ जिंजाइवो ऑर्थोडियल जॉइंट Uh, which allows a motion only in a backward and a forward direction and permits a gliding motion temporomandibular joint the main function is of the mastication and the speech and hence is of great interest to the odontologists clinicians and the radiologists the internal derangement of tmj is defined as an abnormal positional and functional relationship between the disc and the articular surface precise localization of the disc is very important in the diagnosis of the tmj internal derangement Hence, an MRI imaging is required for the interpretation of these abnormalities. In the objectives of our study are to study the various internal derangements of TMJ joint using an MRI. Material and method: We have studied 15 patients referred to us with a pain in the preauricular region or pain during the jaw movements or clicking sensation. All the scans were done in a 3D slide. We discovered an 50 watt MRI. The following sequences were used: going for the axial PD, sagittal PD, PD fat sat sat, and the coronal PD fat sat. The scans were reported by two readers. The results and the observations, as in observed, been, op- been obtained by observing 30 temporal mandibular joints of 15 patients, which were referred to our department. Uh, based upon our study, we have concluded that the anterior displacement with the reduction was the most common internal derangement found in our study. this is a graphical this is an pie chart of the derangements which we have obtained by studying the patients in our study coming to the discussion discussion goes for the temporal mandibular joint is a gingival lateral joint the articular surface of the tm joint is formed by the inferiorly by the mandibular condyle and superiorly by the glenoid fossa of and the articular eminence of the temporal bone The articular disc is round or oval, biconcave, and a vascular between the condyle and the glenoid. The disc itself is divided into three zones: an anterior band, intermediate, and the posterior. The posterior band is thick one, measuring approximately 3 mm, a bilamellar zone. The intermediate zone is a thin central zone of approximately 1 mm. It prevents articular damage through a continuous interposition between the condyle and the temporal surface during our mouth opening and closing. In a closed mouth, the posterior band of the disc is directly above the condyle near the vertical line through the apex of the condylar curvature in sagittal plane. The junction of the posterior band and the bilamellar zone should fall within 10 degree of this vertical line to be evaluated as a normal. In a open mouth, the junction between the anterior band and the intermediate zone should be interposed between the condyle and the articular eminence. The muscles of mastication, in addition to the other accessory, helps in opening and closing the mouth. If this is not present, as we see on an is in the picture on our right side, uh, there is disruption of that joint and there is displacement of the joint, dislocation of the joint. On an MRI, uh, the marrow fat in the condyle has a T1 high signal. The disc is otherwise homogeneously hypoindent and spike concave. The bilamellar is visible as an intermediate zone. In a closed mouth position, the junction of the posterior band and the posterior attachment lies above the condyle. nearly at 12 o'clock position in a open mouth position it lies between the condyle and the articular eminence and the posterior band is against the posterior surface of the condyle the superior belly of the lateral pterygoid attaches to the anterior band of the disc the inferior belly of the lateral pterygoid attaches to the anterior surface of the condylar neck with a thin linear hypoindense fibrous band the internal derangements the opening of the mouth requires a perfect synchronization The term internal derangement refers to the mechanical defect that interferes with the harmonic position. On that basis, we have anterior displacement of the disc with reduction to the normal position with mouth opening. Um, without reduction, the anterior displacement with perforation. The sideways displacement is medial and lateral. The rotational anterior medial or anterior lateral and the posterior displacement. That is displacement with reduction. The articular disc may dislodge in several directions: anterior, medial, lateral, anterior medial, anterior lateral, and the posterior this means that the disc is displaced or the mesial line and the condyle when the open is when the mouth is closed in case of reduction the disc returns back to its anatomical position on opening the mouth spontaneously the disc remains in the position as long as the mouth is closed once the mouth is open 
it gets dislodged like the shown in the figure this is an anti displacement of the disc on a closed mouth the disc is repositioned when the mouth is open as you can see here and see here this is being displaced and this gets repositioned on opening the mouth that is displacement without reduction in this even after closing the mouth it doesn't get spontaneously um, to its anatomical position like you can see it is displaced here and same it remains displaced even during opening now the disc displacement with the perforation or tear the disc is less likely to reduce to a normal position as a bilamellar zone because progressively dysfunction the disc perforation can occur or the disc might become thicker and fibrotic like in this the figure 3 the satch pd of a left temporomandibular shows the anterior displacement of the disc on a closed mouth and in figure 3 we see that the posterior zone is thicker and shows a high signal most likely a tear as you can see here this is might be a tear of the disc now the medial displacement this goes into the side to side displacement which we have to the medial and the lateral the medial displacement we have shown the medial displacement the figure 5 is in coronal section where we see the disc between the glenoid fossa and the mandibular condyle but on the right side the conclusion of our study goes by uh, the T imaging of the TMJ joint is performed by the case series depending upon the clinical signs and symptoms. The MRI is the modality of choice for the evaluation of the disc position and the internal derangements of the joint. Uh, these are my references. And thank you.